loves so welcome back to my channel and i know i promised you guys the labor video for how long now but don't worry it's here so <clears throat> where do i start um i must say that my labor and delivery went by really fast i'm not sure if it is the exercise video that i did and I'm going to leave the link below for that exercise video, but I do believe it played a part in me going into labor the day after and me having like a very fast delivery. Okay, so I had my baby boy at 39 weeks, exactly. The Monday I was officially 39 weeks and um, I was so over it. Like I was extremely heavy. I was. I was extremely uncomfortable like I could not sleep the night before I could not sleep I just remember saying to myself it's okay I'm ready for the crying I'm ready for the dirty pampas I'm ready for everything I just need to get him out because I was just too heavy so um, I decided to do an exercise the Sunday <laughs> the Sunday um, morning and I did it you're gonna see a clip of me doing it right now And then um, in the evening, we decided to go to the movies and we arrived at the movie a bit early. So we decided to take a walk. So I decided to do a lot of walking that evening. So we walked around for a bit to try and get him out, you know, get him lower. And then that same night, you okay, Papa? You don't want any more? <laughs> yes, and that same night, I whoa there say excuse me yes that same night we um we watched the movies and i started feeling a little cramps not anything serious but i was feeling you know a little uneasy in my pelvic region and in the night i started feeling slight cramps but it wasn't anything to be concerned about no the monday um, I still had work to do like I had some oils to ship out so I got up and I was like you know I feel today is the day so I got up I decided to um, package the oils so while I was there packaging the oils I started to feel the cramps coming in a little bit stronger but still nothing to be concerned about it didn't feel like labor it didn't feel like contractions or anything like that it just felt like period type of pain <clears throat> right so um leading up to about four five o'clock that's the time I, I need to catch that's the time i need to catch the post so i decided to order uber got the uber and um went around <laughs> to the post and i remember i was you know kind of walking really slow because the cramps were coming in and even one point i stopped in the family dollar and they saw that i was walking kind of weird so they're like mommy don't have don't have the baby in the store you know and i'm like no so i they even give me a skip in the line so when they give me the skip in the line now i delivered the packages this is this is like almost five o'clock and if that wasn't enough i decided to stop <laughs> by the jamaican restaurant and get some curry goat she's so used to me coming in she's like what you still here and i'm like listen i believe it's happening today so she hurry up and share out the curry goat for me and i went back home and i was eating while i was eating um it started to feel stronger now and i'm like whoa i think it's really going to happen this evening so i'm feeling the cramps stronger and i'm like okay i need to get ready so I started to time my contractions because there's a contraction timer in the baby center app. <laughs> it's just 
looking at me. Yeah, I decided to time the contractions. So um, I'm there feeling pain. And I'm like, oh shoot, I need to secure my wig because I don't want to be in so much pain that I pull off my wig. So I'm there crying and securing my wig at the same time. No, I had to record this. I'm probably the only person who is probably experiencing labor and fixing their hair. Not realizing that my contractions are about four minutes apart right now. And the hospital is about 35, 40 minutes away. Listen, um, I don't know if I should wait a little. That was my biggest mistake. Um, comparing Nikoi's labor time with his time because I'm like the last time I was feeling pain for hours before I went into labor and with him literally I started to feel the pain seriously at about six o'clock right and I'm like it couldn't you know it couldn't happen this soon because I started feeling the pain seriously at that time so I'm like maybe I need to wait a little and my mom was like you don't need to wait you need to go to the hospital so she come and she started packing stuff in the, the car and she's like you need to go now and it's a good thing I follow my mom and went right ahead because the pain started it started to get worse in the car I thought he was gonna come out in the car same way how I thought Nicole was gonna come out in the shower so it got worse and all along I was like I wanted to have a natural you know a natural delivery but in the car the pain <laughs> the pain reminded me why i said i wanted only one and i was like mom hurry up because i want the epidural i want the epidural i was just singing that i want the epidural so when i reached the hospital um put me in the wheelchair and i was just so out of it when the lady was asking me questions at the front desk i'm i just had to be pausing i even throw my id at her because I don't know I don't know I was just feeling a lot of pain anyways when they decided to um, check me to see how far dilated I was when they pulled me in the room I said listen to me nurse I need the epidural so she decided to check me when she checked me she's like mother I don't think you can get the epidural because you're 10 centimeters dilating you're gonna have this baby right now I was like what no epidural and I set my mind on it so much to have like a peaceful nice easy delivery because the pain was just too much and I'm just like geez um I have to just go through it so um <laughs> they pushed me straight up to the delivery room and they started um, while they putting all the, the IV and strapping me up and getting me ready um they were you know talking me through the contractions advent health orlando they did a really good job um the only thing i felt leading up to my delivery was the pain right so um when i was in delivery my water still in bursts so what was weird is like i felt something coming down like a sack and she said okay this is your water sack but it, it was kind of weird. I'm not sure how the water sack come out. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I don't know. It was weird because she was kind of, she was kind of confused about that as well. But once that came out, the pain intensified and I just started feeling the pressure like he was coming and I was like, he's coming out. No. <laughs> so, um... I pushed and they told me to not scream it out but to kind of breathe through it and push the head felt like really like a burning sensation and then the shoulders felt kind of weird as well and then when he was out I was just so relieved but um I can't say that his experience was the experience with Kason was much better than the experience with Nikoi um, it actually wasn't that bad for a natural delivery because it went by so fast and I still don't know how it went by so fast because I started feeling the pain severely at six o'clock and I had him after eight right 
and he was born at seven pounds eight ounces everything was perfect with him um, we stayed in the hospital for about two days and then we came home and everything was fine But I believe what a lot of people um, don't speak about is that postpartum period. And I totally understand why women will get depressed if they don't have that support. Um, or, you know, I can totally understand. If you don't have the support from your partner or if you um, are not in a good financial position if you don't have family around then it's very easy to get depressed um, you know after having a baby because there's so much pain there's so much physical pain involved in that week after um, mentally I was okay physically I was not okay but because I was in so much pain looking at me i would look like i was depressed but i wasn't really depressed i was just in a lot of pain um a couple other things that they don't tell you one in your last month you're gonna deal with constipation like severe constipation where you probably need um the medication colace it's it's like pills you'll probably need that and you need to drink a lot of prune juice even after the baby you'll still have issues with constipation um so constipation was my biggest issue in the last month and after the baby so i had to make sure that prune juice was a part of my diet and they did give me colace at the hospital and that's how serious it is um <sighs> you're sore you're very sore after um, having the baby so they gave me this pain reliever spray that I'm supposed to spray on my um, private area and they actually gave me some soap pads with um, what was it witch hazel that I would put on the pad as well which helps the healing faster So you have to be dealing with constipation you have to be dealing with the soreness of your private area you have to be dealing with the breastfeeding which is another stress because at one point I was so engorged that I had a pain in my chest for the entire day and I think I had to just take some ibuprofen to ease the pain he's getting upset he's getting fussy you want some more? You want some titi? You want some titi? You want some bottle? Titi bottle. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, yeah, you have to be dealing with the pain of engorged breasts, constipation, sore vagi, and there was something else. Hmm. Oh yes. And then whenever 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 you breastfeed you'll feel contractions so it's like labor contractions but it's not that painful so you're feeling a lot of pain in that first week I must say and I think you need to mentally prepare yourself to experience that so that you don't feel all down and out and might be mindful that your tummy if you're a first-time mom I'm used to it so it doesn't really matter me if you're a first-time mom after having the after having the baby your tummy doesn't go extremely flat immediately you look about four months pregnant after having your baby but after a week or two the breastfeeding will help to pull you down it really helps to contract your uterus so I would urge you to breastfeed so that that will help you know 
with getting your tummy down um yeah but so far the experience i cannot complain whatsoever because i did have a very easy pregnancy i must say um otherwise from the symptoms that are normal but the symptoms that really you know left a mark the constipation itching yes at one point i was itching all over and i think they say that the increase in your blood pressure causes the itching um what else uh i had a migraine for two weeks that was worse i had a migraine for two weeks um what else the memory loss of course yes that happened to me um and <laughs> just being slow just being so heavy and out of breath especially leading up to the um the final chapter but he is very much worth it right my kissing boo right my poo -poo? Poo -poo 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 <laughs> yes um he understands that he has a crazy mom so um this is my little case Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> this onesie is getting a little bit small for you. It's a newborn onesie. Okay, guys, I'm gonna also show you the postpartum belt that I've been wearing. I got it off Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link below for that as well. I'm gonna take it off and show you guys how I put it on. So I haven't been doing any sit-ups or any exercises or anything like that. So I have a lot of loose um, skin still there, but it's going down. Um, this is the waist part of it. So the waist part goes right here. Oh, bless you. The waist part goes right here. Right, you can pull it tighter if you want. And then we have the stomach part. Oh no, that's the other part. <laughs> Sorry. We have the stomach part, which I put a little higher. And that goes right there. And then you have two tabs that I kind of concentrate where the sink is. So I get back that curvature. And Put that here I kind of spread it apart so you know it tucks in that back fat that stubborn one and then the other one goes in the crease of my waist and then I have the pelvic part which goes in the lower section foot <laughs> stop distracting my, my viewers with your foot Okay. and then we go like this we have some tabs that we can kind of pull it tight and this is my postpartum belt okay. yeah so um another another thing that I forgot to discuss about the breastfeeding which I don't want mothers to feel bad if you have to stop um because my nipples got so sore i had to take a break and because i took a break um my supply dipped and because my supply dipped i wasn't able to feed him as often as he requested so i had to put the um i had to incorporate the formula i don't feel guilty about it if you have to do it you just have to do it um same way i didn't feel guilty when i had to try and put him on the bottle as well because i wanted to give my breasts a break so i was expressing a lot i was expressing a lot so that he could have milk stored and he could also get feed he could also get fed from the bottle and give my breasts a break but that in turn made my supply dipped 
and I believe that my supply dipped also because I wasn't drinking a lot of water I'm supposed to be drinking six bottles a day which is like 96 ounces and I wasn't doing that whatsoever so I decided to um, try and work on that and um, yeah I just want to let mothers know that if you aren't able to produce breast milk don't feel bad because I realize that a lot of women feel bad because they aren't they they are not able to breastfeed and if you have to put him on the bottle whether it's with breast or formula don't feel bad do what you gotta do because at the end of the day um, you have to take care of yourself as well and right now he's on breast and formula and he's quite all right right Kason? <laughs> okay guys so if you have any questions you can comment them below and i will answer them okay thanks for watching Kason, say bye say bye Kason. say bye papa bye